Greetings, and welcome to part 7 of the MetLogix M3 version 3 tutorial series. In part 7, we will be looking at the new Enhanced Data Cloud display. With this new capability, it is now possible to display the data cloud for a measured feature directly in the part view. New tools have also been added to allow you to magnify the display of points in the measurement or to quickly locate the best or worst fit point in the data cloud. Some basic interactive annotation tools have also been added. This new feature can greatly enhance the look of printouts and reports for your measured features. We will now take a quick look at an example of how to use the new Enhanced Data Cloud display. I'm going to quickly measure a couple of features and access the part view in the M3 in order to demonstrate the use of this new feature. To access the tools for the new Enhanced Data Cloud display, simply select the feature and enter annotation or markup mode using the pencil icon in the bottom toolbar. You will notice a single new button has been added to the toolbar for the annotation menu from the part view. This new toolbar allows us to display or hide the data cloud points directly in the part view. As you can see, once the data points have been displayed, some new tools will also be displayed in the bottom toolbar next to it. These new toolbar buttons allow you to decrease or increase the magnification of the data points with a long press on the green point button to quickly identify the best fit point in the cloud, a long press on the worst point button to quickly identify the worst point in the data cloud, or single clicks on either of these buttons to step through the data point clouds in the direction of towards worst point or towards best point. You can see that the point that's selected in the data cloud will be displayed in the feature detail port in the top left of the M3 user interface. It is also possible to annotate these points interactively to enhance printouts. Just sim simply left mouse and drag on the data point to add the annotation. It is possible to show and hide the data clouds for more than one feature at a time. Simply group select the features that you'd like to display the data clouds for and enable, and enable data cloud display. Thank you.